think we're in a revolution. I mean, fundamentally, people are stepping up and saying no more. They're rejecting the overly complex system that has created a huge break between capital and labor. That labor is devalued, people are devalued, jobs are devalued, and they're saying no more. And so whether it's Will Allen and growing power, working with inner city people who have no money, but are doing urban gardens and growing their own food through the cooperative movement, through small scale processors and aggregators, people are standing up and saying, this is our community, this is our life, and this is where we're putting our money. And that's our future. The primary goal, I think, is the connection with the consumer. So you have that consumer supporting the retailer or chef, supporting the wholesaler, supporting the processor, supporting the farmer, and understanding that chain all the way. And if you can consolidate those cha that chain, if you can um, uh, bypass it, that's all great, but the chain's there for a reason, and it's understanding what that is, but mostly understanding the relationships and honoring those. So from consumer down. You can train farmers. Farmers grow more easily than consumers. It may sound counterintuitive. There are plenty of people out there who would grow if they had the opportunity and knew what to grow for. Um, training skills in production, in the, the processing, can happen. Um, there are enough skilled people out there that we can find and train if we have the capital. Um, training the consumer, though, in the midst of all the messages about cost is primary, get your value, um, you know, low-cost leaders, the flyers that every grocery puts out there, um, dollar meals and all that, our critical need is to get the consumer to jump out of that noise and understand the intrinsic value in community food.